Hi, I am from the product management team at Tally Solutions. In this video, I will show you how to create GST transactions from 1st July. After you install release 6.0, simply open your existing company, follow the messages on screen and you are ready to get started with GST. A couple of clicks and release 6.0 is enabled for GST. One of the first things to do is recording your company's GST number. Let's take a look at how to begin GST compliant billing from July 1st. Release 6.0 provides you an easy way to specify HSN or SAC codes and tax rates on a single screen. If you deal in items with a single HSN and single tax rate, you can quickly set up GST rates at company master level. Else, the GST rate setup screen displays all the stock groups. Click detail to view the stock items in each group. Select a group for which tax rate has to be set up. Click Set Rate. In the GST Details screen, enter the description for the type of supply. Ensure the HSN or SAC of the type of supply is entered correctly. Enter the integrated tax rate for the given HSN or SAC. The central tax and state or union territory tax rates are filled automatically. Enter the rate of cess, if any. Save the tax rate details. Similarly, you can set tax rates for all the items very quickly. GST compliance also mandate the GSTIN of your party. Release 6.0 is ready with a solution to easily update your party's location and GSTIN details from a single screen. To update the GSTIN for all parties in one shot, go to Update Party GSTIN. Select any specific group or ledger or all groups and all ledgers to set details for all parties. By default, this screen displays ledgers of parties which do not have these details. Select the country, state and registration type and enter GSTIN for each party. This way, you can complete entering GSTIN details for all suppliers and customers in no time. We have configured the tax details. But how will the taxes be applied? The tax is applied in transactions using tax ledgers. Since GST is divided into multiple tax types, we must create a separate ledger for each tax type. To create a tax ledger for CGST or Central Tax, go to Accounts Info, Ledgers and click Create. Give a name for the Central Tax Ledger and group the ledger under Duties and Taxes. Select GST as the type of duty or tax. Select Central Tax as a tax type. Enter the percentage of tax if tax rate is not defined at the company level, stock group level or stock item level. Save Tax Ledger. Now that all the basic information is in place, you can start recording GST compliant invoices. Let us take the example of a sale transaction to see how tax is calculated. Select the party, choose Sales Ledger and select the items being sold and enter their rate and quantity. Now select GST Tax Ledgers, Central Tax and State Tax for a local sale and Integrated Tax Ledger if it is an interstate sale. Print your first GST invoice with all details in no time at all. In case you are a service company, you can set up your service ledgers for GST. Simply alter the existing service ledgers, make GST applicable for the ledger, set the GST details like SAC, tax rates, save the tax rate details and set the type of supply as services. Similarly, you can set tax rates for all such ledgers very quickly. Passing sales transactions for services is similar to passing sales transactions for an item. Simply change the invoice mode to accounting invoice. Select the party, choose the service ledger and enter the value of service. Now select GST tax ledgers, central tax and state tax for a local sale and integrated tax ledger if it is an interstate sale. Passing other transactions like purchases, credit notes or debit notes is not very different from the sale transactions you just witnessed. You are all set for GST transactions with Tally ERP9 release 6 from July 1st. All the best.